got a really easy one. Oh, fucking look. I didn't look, I swear. Hey Hello. guys, how's it going? It's Ashley, and I'm here with Kayla. Hello, I'm back again. <laughs> and we're going to draw, I'm going to draw Pokemon that I have never heard of before. And that, I almost said I, I have heard of. I can't English. <laughs> So, first one. Wait, I gotta do the screen recording. First one, we have Swaddle. Okay. He is a bug grass type. And first appeared in Pokemon Black and White. Pokemon entry. Yes. Uh, its white entry is, this Pokemon makes clothes for itself. It chews up leaves and sews them together with sticky thread extruding from its mouth. So it makes clothes for itself, huh? Yeah. It's a popular mascot for fashion designers. It's it's, it's the first evolution of three. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, but we're <laughs> <laughs> they can see on screen. Oh, it's so cute! Yeah, that's not a penguin. It's a little. It's adorable! Anyway, now that that monstrosity is away. <laughs> hey, that penguin is adorable. <laughs> Alright, your second one is Pretzel. Pretzel? Okay. Pretzel! <laughs> He's an electric type. No! Have I just turned... I just... Down. Wait, how do I draw a pretzel again? It's Blitzel! <laughs> that is not uh, a it's, pretzel. It's black and white entry for two is its main shines when it discharges electricity. They they use the frequent and rhyme of these flashes to communicate. This is the first evolved form of its line of poo. Did you even hear my <laughs> entry? I said it's main. <laughs> okay, 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 hang on. It's a lion now. Oh my god. your final answer. Yes. <laughs> God help us. <laughs> okay, what's the name again? Blitzel. Blitzel. See, it's- Oh, it's a horse! Yeah. It's a horsey. Yeah. Now, if I went with its, uh, evolved form, Zebstrika, maybe you would've gotten a horse. Yeah, I, I probably would've drawn, like, a zebra for that one. Yeah. Okay, next. All right, I got a fun one. Mudstale. Mudstale? Mudstale. I could be butchering that horribly, but yeah. It's a ground type. And it's the evolved form of mud bray. I don't know. What the f It's a city. Mudsdale. Like the city. Like Dale is at the ending of a city. <laughs> You're off camera. <laughs> I, I th this oh my god. I thought this one would be easy. Uh where's its Pokedex form? Yeah, this one appears in Sun and Moon, so. Well I'm not gonna dr draw like a muck or something. 
Because that's already been created. I already know what a muck looks like. Or a grimer. <laughs> it spits a mud that provides resistance to both wind and rain. So the walls of old houses were often coated with it. Got it. That's a sun entry. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> Here, maybe this helps. Uh, its moon entry is... It's heavy, mud-covered kicks are its best means of attack. It can it reduce large, large trucks to scrap without breaking a sweat. He needs feetsies. Now he's got feetsies. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> My god. Okay, I, I'm done. This is him. Google it. Okay. It, it's another, another horse. Another horse? It's another horse. You know, like a Clydesdale? <laughs> you got a city? Because Dale liked the ending of a city. It's a Dimodome. Thugstale Dimodome. Yes, Timmy Turner. With his hat that exceeds physics. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, how are you getting a city out of a horse? <laughs> We built a city from horses, apparently. Yes. All right. Next one. Grandpa. Wait, say it again. Grandpa. Okay, I draw like a grandpa. <laughs> it's a normal dragon. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, oh, I got this. I totally got this. Right. It's, it's from Sun and Moon again. And it... Its sun entry is it has a compassionate person or compassionate personality, but if if it is anger, it completely destroys its surroundings with its intense breath. I can't speak. Apparently, uh, this Pokemon is friendly to people and loves children most of all. It comes from deep in, deep in the mountains to play with children it likes in town, like a true grandpa. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I, I looked at its sun entry and it's like, if, I, if a child it has made friends with is bullied, Grandpa will find the bully's house and burn it to the ground. Jesus. Okay, so it's got fire. Man, this is really like our grandpa because its moon enters is it appears in towns and plays with the children. Grandpa will protect the children when they're in danger. So moms don't have to worry. The perfect babysitter. <laughs> he breathes fire. Okay. I think I'm done with this. You know what? That's about how to be the closest one. Really? Okay. Sort of. Let me Grandpa. I could be butchering that. Grandpa? Oh yeah, yeah. He's got the long neck. <laughs> He's so cute. He's a true grandpa. <laughs> How many have we done so far? That's four, so now it's time for the legendary. Yet ow. Don't hurt yourself. I am a liability to myself. <laughs> Establish this. Okay. Alright, from Pokemon Sun and Moon, or is this Ultraman? Sun and Moon? No, this is just Sun and Moon. <clears throat> and Ultraman. Mm -hmm. It's Cosmog. Just a little genderless blob thing. It's a psychic type. It's quite a unique legendary, considering if once you get it, you you're calling like Saturn. <laughs> it's Cosmo. What, what's Cosmog. It Cosmog. Well, well, sun entry is its its body is poisonous and fra frail. It slowly grows as it collects dust from the atmosphere. There's the dust in the atmosphere. Yeah, but once you get this in the games, whatever cover legendary you have. This one will evolve to the other one. So if you have Lion Boy, it'll evolve into Bat Boy. Wait, excuse me, what? Well, the, the Sun and Moon Legendary. If you have the Sun Legendary, which is the Lion, 
then then this one will grow into he's a soft boy he is a soft boy <laughs> then it will grow into evolve excuse me into the other one he I... looks like he needs a hat i'm gonna throw him a hat there we go he has a hat you know what if you look at this just right you're kind of close Yes! This is you. Look this bad boy up. Okay. Dude, I totally got it! Except for what? Oh, he's beautiful! I like that a lot. Yeah. That is not even close. I don't know what you're talking about. You got a little ring thing on it. You, you see the yellow? Yeah. If you oh, turn that's it on, a ring? I'd, well, it's not really a ring, it's attached to its body. That's its evolved form, the oh, okay. golden eye thing. Yeah, that photo. That's its Pokemon card. I'm just looking at it from the side. Well, it kind of has a ring. Yeah. It's adorable and I love it. Yeah. I want like 10. I want it to. Get 10 of those, you can have 10 fire lions of the sun. Okay. Well, this has been drawing Pokemon that I don't know the name, or d that I don't know anything about. You tried. I tried. <laughs> How do you still get a city out of a horse? <laughs> I didn't know it was a horse. I thought it was Dale, like a Cly city. Clydesdale? Mugdale? I didn't even <laughs> it looks like a Clydesdale. Uh. Okay, well, that's all I had for you today. Bye. Bye.